G'day guys and welcome back and today we're jumping back out here to Hunter Classic because I had such a fun time jumping over to what was it what was it called? Loggers Point I think maybe it was White Run Ridge the other day and starting at the Hunter Classic we took down that absolutely massive muley which apparently they can get a whole lot bigger which is was, was quite a surprise to me because of how absolutely giant he was but today we're out here on Val de Bois and today we're going to be looking for some Alpine Ibex um, you need climbing gear, so I've just gone ahead and bought those using some of the AM that I have left over. I'm almost out at this point, so I eventually might have to get a little bit more, but I've bought the climbing gear. I, I don't really know what to expect, so we're kind of just going to jump into it. I don't even know how to use the climbing gear, but I might start spotting and hopefully try find some of these Ibex. I've chose to come after the Ibex and jump out to Valdebar today because I just think they look absolutely incredible. In the Hunter Call of the Wild, I absolutely love the all species of Ibex. I've hunted them for them so much and I have so many trophies for them. And the Alpine Ibex genuinely might be better than all of those combined. They just look absolutely incredible from what I've seen so far. So I'm going to jump up onto these mountains. I don't, still don't know if there's a render distance in this game. So I don't know if I'm going to be looking at spots and if it's too far away. But I still don't know how this climbing gear works. Apparently I'm supposed to tap E or something. I don't exactly know where to go. So I'll cut to when I'll figure it out. Right, so all I needed to do was just come to this rock formation. And obviously here it is. So I'll chuck this thing down. And apparently there's some sort of mini game when you're climbing on it. So here we go. Press E enter here we go we're going to be climbing up this rock face this will be a little interesting w and s to climb a and d to hold your balance righto this hopefully shouldn't be too difficult there's nothing popping up yet here we go got to keep my balance this will be i mean it looks pretty easy so far i imagine it gets a fair bit harder this is actually extremely easy right now i definitely imagine it's supposed to get a little more difficult there we go it's getting Getting a little closer to the edges. I don't know what actually happens if we fail. It says we have three attempts in the bottom right corner. I assume if we fail, we just start again from the bottom. Oh, that's getting close. Jeez, almost fell off there. That's a little bit more difficult. But we're nearing the top of the mountain. I reckon we're, I reckon we're going to make it. And it definitely seems like it. And are we there? There we go. Yeah, we just press E now. And it's not working. There we go. Took a little bit of a second, but we're up here. We're even in the mountains. Now it's time to look for these Ibex. I'm extremely excited. These things are going to blend in perfectly, so there's going to be a lot of glassing. Actually, there's a bit of movement up there. There is an Ibex somewhere up there. I don't know if you can even make that out. It's very small. It's very far away. It's just sort of crawling along the top of that little ridgeway. How far out is that? Yeah, no. No chance. Can't even see it on the scope, so... As you can see, I'm in the southern area, and that's the game plan for today. I'm going to have to slowly climb up to him and try and get a shot on him. I reckon it's going to be quite difficult because of this. Because of all the rocks and little hills everywhere, it's going to be quite... It's quite a challenging environment to try and hunt. Probably not what I would recommend for starting out. Well, I mean, I'm doing it, but there's even more right on the top of that mountain. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up that, though. I don't think that's even possible, to be honest, so... I think you sort of just have to wait for those guys to come down. I mean, it's probably is. You probably have to chuck down some climbing gear somewhere up there, but that's that's going to be too much effort. I'm going to go after that other other one that I saw just chilling before. And there it is, right at the top of that ridge. I do think that's probably a female. It doesn't look very big. I guess it I, it, does, it could be a small male, but I don't I don't reckon it is. I do expect it to be a female. The large males can get absolutely huge from what I've seen. Don't know what an, a really good score is, but you know what? We, this might work. He is still extremely an extremely small target, so this is going to be a very tough shot. I don't feel like that's probably the smartest decision so far, because if I miss this, everything else is going to get spooked anyway, and I can't see him. There he is. I'm just going to slowly... Take my time, get a little bit closer, and try and take her out. Right, you can see her horns just sticking up right there. I mean, I don't know if it's a her, but I'm just assuming at this point it's pretty damn small, but that might work. I reckon I can squeeze a shot into there. It's going to take a little bit of effort, but... I think that dropped her. 
they either dropped her or if she's just run off extremely quickly. I think I can see her horn. I think her horn is sticking up in the air there. So I do think we have taken down our first Alpine Ibex. How good is that? Yep, you can see that little horn sticking up. And we'll, it's going to take a little bit of a climb to get up there. But we'll go claim her. And there it is. I actually accidentally climbed straight past it. But that is our first Alpine Ibex. Just a little female. 27.6 kilos with a score of 113. But I will try and get a trophy shot because it is my first Alpine Ibex. And even that, that looks pretty damn impressive. I'm so excited to see what a big male is going to look like. And you know what I reckon that'll about do. And that'll be our first trophy shot for our first Alpine Ibex. Didn't tax her because it's just a female. And I reckon... At some point, we'll be able to find some massive male around here. And there's absolutely tracks everywhere up in these mountains. I'm just in the southern mountains, right at the bottom bottom, bottom corner of the map. And I'm just going to keep glassing for as long as it takes to try and find some more. Because that was absolutely awesome. So one thing I have learnt is to just find absolutely every single track and just pick up every single one those are rock time again but like look at all these tracks i'm gonna take the time and just pick up every single one to level up my uh tracking skill for these alpine ibex because they're definitely a species i'm going to start hunting pretty frequently and hopefully we'll try and find a massive trophy at some point we do have some more ibex running over there just spotted those guys so hopefully there'll be a male somewhere in within the group and we actually do have another little female just jogging around up there. I think it's kind of glitched. It's just running the same pattern over and over again. So I do want to take this thing down. It's going to be quite a long shot, but I think I do want to try and take it down. And the Ibex have a really weird sort of warning call. It's sort of like a chirp from a bird. But this is a really tough shot. I just needed to slow down for a second. Oh, gave me a chance there. I think that just clean miss. Not exactly a good start on that thing, but let's try this again. Kinda have to con be conscious with my bullets. I only have 10 total before I'll have to go down and get more. And there's actually another one. But this thing's really just giving me a hard time trying to hit it. I should probably get closer, but I'm just too impatient to go and do that. I'm too scared to just get unglitched if I get close. But come on, mate, just stop sprinting around. Almost got a chance there. That that would have missed as well. I'm just absolutely wasting bullets right now that I could be using on some, I don't know, absolutely giant male with horns the size of its body. But I think that one might have actually hit. There we go. Finally got it down. Jeez. That took a little while, but we only have three bullets left. So now I'm definitely going to have to start being conscious with the, other bullets I have, with the amount of bullets I've left. And I've upgraded 243 bolt action rifle skill up to level two. I don't know what perks I get with that, but we do have another track, another rock time again. But we'll go pick up our, I think, another female Ibex. And here it is. Wonder what's happened here. So the first shot was body and the second was intestines and stomach. So that explains why it took... So long to go down. And my Alpine Ibex tracking skill has leveled up to level 2, which is pretty good, I'd say. Might go for another trophy shot, because why the heck not? That was an accident. Try and see if we can get a better one here, but you know what? I might just take a photo of his head. I guess that's not bad. And our character's just disappeared, and I clicked escape accidentally. So, so much for that trophy shot, but it's really not that big a deal. It's just another small female Ibex, and hopefully we will find a male pretty soon. I'm assuming the amount of females we're finding is to do with how it would be in real life. I'm assuming the ratio of female to male alpine ibex, there'd be way more females and there'd be a lot of dominant males going around covering a lot of area, a lot of ground and just sort of being, being, I don't know, sort of alpha male of the area. And we do have another one that's sort of just sticking on the wall. That's going to give me a little bit of an easier shot. Maybe not. It's kind of tough. But we did manage to drop it, I think. It looked like it dropped. It either started sliding down the hill to run away, or I just absolutely dropped it. So there's the blood, I think. So, yep. It shouldn't have gone far. I can't see it. Though. Oh, wait, no. I'm, I think I'm staring at it. Yeah, it's right there. It just sort of blended in and looked like a rock, but that's another female, I think. Yep, just another female. 22.4 kilos. 
We'll get a trophy shot because why the heck not? We'll, at least we'll try it. Yeah, look, gave up on the trophy shot. It was not worth it, but we do have another female that's sort of glitched again. It's just sort of spooked and just running the exact same sort of thing. And now it's decided to walk up the mountain. I don't understand how spotting works. I don't know if you have to, like, click on the animal because I'll be looking at it and just nothing will happen. I won't spot it. Holy cow! That is an absolutely giant Ibex. That has got to be a giant male. The female has been glitched and just running around for so long and I've just been waiting to get a shot on it. But an absolutely huge male Ibex has just sprinted down the side of the cliff. Holy cow, look at the size of that thing. That is 100% tax worthy. If I get this thing, that's going in the lodge. Hopefully that hit. I only have one bullet left. I feel like I should have taken that shot earlier. I think he's going to go glitched as well, but... Oh my goodness. Is he gone? Did I get him down? No, he's still alive. He's... I need to make sure... I have one bullet left in the chamber. I need to just make sure this shot is good. Oh, he's running away. I just got to save this bullet just in case I don't get him down. I think he is glitched. I think he's stuck in this area as well. So I just need to wait and take a good shot. Please don't run back up that mountain. Please. Please don't do it. You know what? He might have died back there. No, he's still moving around. Oh, I almost took that shot. Good thing I didn't. Yes! Oh, that was extremely sketchy, but that last shot, last bullet that I have, did get him down, and that's an absolutely monster Ibex. Holy cow, that's what I've been looking for this whole time. That thing is absolutely ridiculously big. I can't wait to get that thing in the lodge. And that thing is definitely getting a nice trophy shot. Holy cow. <laughs> Look at the size of that. What is his score? 236. I hit him in the skull. I didn't even hit him the first time. And the last shot hit him in the skull. That's kind of ridiculous. I don't know how that hit the skull. But holy cow, that thing is massive. We got to get a definitely... We've got to get an appropriate trophy shot for this guy. Right, so that'll about do. How big is that thing? That is an absolutely giant Ibex. I'm going to go jump back into the lodge. Oh, I didn't tax him. I've got to tax it. It's all right. I can tax him at the end of the session. And I'll chuck him in the lodge. How amazing is that thing? Right, so we're back in the lodge. And I did manage to tax him. Oh, that's not exactly the best spot for him. I might move him down right next to our mule deer. He's on a small plaque. Can he go to a full body platform? I don't think he can. Can he? Can't go on a platform. I'd like to see a full like sort of mount of him, but it doesn't seem like he can, unfortunately. So we're just going to have to chuck him on the plaque in a second here. And we'll try that, see how that looks. And there he is. That an absolutely massive Ibex next to our mule deer from the other day. That is ridiculously big. I don't know how much bigger these guys can get. I can imagine it's a little bit bigger, but how good does that thing look? Look, an absolutely giant Ibex to top off a pretty perfect day. That's going to do it for this one, guys. If you guys did like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. 